Hi, I'm Mo with Off Grid Life Over 50. Welcome to the channel. Today we have a great review for you guys. We just got sent this huge street solar light and it was sent to us by a company called Hyperlite. These are all of the contents that come in the box. This is the largest solar street light that they make and it is the 2500 model. It comes with a remote so you can actually set different settings and we'll cover all of that during the installation or after installation. It comes with a little wrench and batteries. It also has a mounting pole, a very sturdy metal pole. If you're mounting it to a pole, you would be using this bracket to put on the back of the actual mounting pole. So, uh, but we're going to be mounting this to a wall, so that will not be needed in our install. And uh, all of the parts are in here. This is all metal. And this is the actual light. And then the solar panel. It is a 45 watt solar panel. So now we'll take everything out of the box and begin our install. The suggested mounting height for this particular unit is 18 to 20 feet. And of course you also have the manual that will give you all of the necessary instructions and guidelines for the mounting. It is very simple guys, very simple installation and uh, I will show you exactly how I'm going to do that. But everything that you need will be on this manual. So now the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of the box. Starting with the light fixture. You can see your cable that will be connected to the solar panel. And this is all metal casing. You don't have to worry about it breaking, cracking, or anything of that sort. It is 100% waterproof, self-contained unit. You have all of your mounting hardware. And this is the solar panel. As you can see, it is a pretty large solar panel. And this solar panel has more chips than most panels for a comparable product. And all you basically have to do, once you run your mounting pole, you connect these two wires together and screw it in like this and you are good to go. The first thing you want to do is to connect the mounting pole to the light fixture. You have to slide the wire through the hole, just like that. Then I have to loosen up some of the screws here just so you can get it in there because the screws are already mounted on there. So. Okay, now that I have everything tightened down and secured to the fixture, it is time to connect the solar panel. Now that I have the pole secured to the light fixture, I turn it around and this is where I will be mounting the solar panel. But first, we need to put the solar panel together with the mounting bracket and then we'll attach it to this. Now it's time to screw in the panel. Just line up your holes right here, right in the middle. And then you use the provided screw with your lock nut. Put the lock nut underneath and slide the screw over it. Right through it. And you need to put in all four. I'm just hand tightening for the time being and then I will get a screwdriver and screw everything down tight. Next up, put the next bracket on top of this one and slide your screw. Again, same screws we use to connect this bracket to the solar panel. Right through the hole in the middle, the middle hole and to the bottom. And 
the same thing on the other side. So you can adjust the positioning of your solar panel when you have the proper angle. You can tighten everything down. The second set of screws will be mounted for the adjustment of the angle of the solar panel. So there are different holes here and you just uh, move it to the position that you need and then you put your screws in and tighten it down. For now I'm just going to put it like so. Because we're not exactly sure what angle we're going to need so we'll just tighten everything at the end once we have found our angle. Take your wrench that came with the actual fixture and uh, this will be a size 8 and I just slide that in to hold it and then tighten the screw from the other side. And I want to be sure not to over tighten the screws up on top because I still have to find, like I said before, the angle for the solar panel. Now it's time to connect this bracket to this bracket right here. This is the side that will be facing downward with the light and this is the part that will be on top. I'm actually going to put these in last because I want to be able to move this and adjust it accordingly. to get a larger wrench to tighten this. As you can see, you can even turn the panel side to side in any direction that you need to point it to the correct angle of the sun. I am going to wait to connect the cables until I am done with the actual install of the unit. And you can see how bright that light is. That's your on off switch right there. Now considering the fact that I am alone doing this project, I will be separating the solar panel from the light fixture because it is going to be awkward and too heavy. Even though it isn't very heavy, but it's heavy enough where I'm going to be up on the roof and I'm not going to be able to screw everything in by myself. So I will reconnect the solar panel once I have the bracket mounted to the side of the house. I will be marking my holes with the additional bracket that came with the kit and we're not going to need this one for our application because we're not using a pole. This is in case you have a pole and you just put the one bracket and the pole will be in the middle and then the other bracket mounts to it. But since we don't need this, I'm going to use this as a template. I have my drill bit ready and these are the anchors that came with the fixture. So I will be marking the four holes uh, on the siding over here and then uh, pre-drill and put my anchors in and then mount the fixture to it.
I'm not entirely sure, but I can't get the panel to point in the direction of the sun, which is right up here. Well, up here right now. And I can't get the panel to tilt that way in the position the bracket is mounted. And all it allows me to do is turn it side to side a little like this, but that's as far as it will go. So it will not let me tilt it in this way. Does that make sense? Okay. And if you look, the light fixture is pointing down straight. The bracket is straight. Okay. You can see. But the panel, the panel, I can't get it to do what I wanted to do, which is to point toward the direction of the sun. So all I can do is turn it, spin it around about a halfway, not even, quarter of the way. See that? It's a pretty impressive unit, but definitely a two-man job. I managed, but it was a little challenging by myself. And uh, the only thing I wish, without having to actually reposition the entire mounting bracket at a crooked angle, just so that I could get the sun on this side, I wish that there was a way to also tilt it that way. Because I, I mounted it straight, just like as per the instructions. This is the way that I mounted the unit and the panel sits just like that. Again, it doesn't allow me to tilt it in this direction. It only has a swivel that turns this lightly about a quarter of the way in one direction or the other. We'll see how it works and uh, tonight we'll test it. You know, I wish we didn't have the power line in the way. And I guess we ended up about 16 feet off the ground I miscalculated because I thought we had like 20 feet, 18 to 20 feet, but we don't. From where the fixture sits to the ground, it's about 16 feet. I'm sure it'll get enough sun with that big panel, regardless. And when I was up on the roof, it looked to me like the sun was hitting it pretty good. I want to mention also that the fixture has 2,500 lumens. It will provide light at night for three consecutive nights, even without the sun. I will put links in the description and uh, links to the website where you can uh, go and make a purchase using our code and you get some discount. If you guys are looking for an off-grid setup for a street light, parking lot light to bring light on your homestead, you can install these fixtures. They're competitively priced. Can't wait to see when it gets dark. Hopefully we'll get enough charge because it is now the afternoon. Uh, but we should have enough charge hopefully to where we can test it tonight and show you guys what, what it looks like. It's got a motion sensor so if I step closer to the light it detects motion and then it just uh, really gives out a lot of light. Let's try the different settings over here. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to shine enough light onto our barn over here. And it's doing exactly that. So it's good security, very nice. I can dim it down, see that? Just with the click on the remote, I can make it dim. I can make it brighter. So, it's up to you and your preference. For our purpose, we're going to keep it on the low setting, so we don't need it to be that bright. But if we want it to have it bright, because we're working in the yard or we're cooking, you know, doing a grill outside and we're planning on doing a summer kitchen. So I think this will be fantastic. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the review and uh, I give it a thumbs up. It's got most seal of approval. Depending on where and how you're mounting your street light, you might have to modify the position of the mounting bracket so that you get the correct angle towards the sun. Well, I think it's fantastic, guys. What do you think?
I give it a full thumbs up and I think that if you're off grid, particularly if you have a situation where you need to have a street light, something that actually is a little bit more than just a little solar light. Uh, this here is the way to go. But look at that. Fantastic guys, thumbs up. This is the end of our review. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.